we're going to start our short run analysis with chapter three, which is the goods market. So, uh, goods. This is basically anything that you and I buy. Can be a phone, can be something to eat, can be clothes, anything that we're buying. So we're looking at the goods market. Chapter four is about the financial market where we're not really buying things as they are, but we're buying financial instruments. So we'll come to that later. Let's start with this, the goods market. And the first thing we're going to try and understand in this chapter is the composition of GDP. So we've talked about GDP in some details in the last lecture. So hopefully all of you know what GDP is. What we are going to try and figure out today is what exactly comprises a country's GDP. Because when you think about it, when you go to a restaurant and spend some money, that's part of the GDP. When a company or a firm buys new machinery, that's part of GDP. When government builds a bridge or a road, that's part of the GDP. So there is a wide range of activities that different economic agents can perform, which will be a part of GDP. So we want to try and list all of this. So let's do that. So the first thing is obviously consumption. And we're going to call this C. I don't, I don't think I need to explain this in details. We all know what consumption is. It's basically when people like you and me, average people, buy something. All right. So number two, we have investment. Now, there are two types of investments. One is fixed investment. And the other is inventory investment. So we, at this stage, we are only talking about fixed investment. We're not talking about inventory investment. We will come to that later. So right now, when I say investment, I mean fixed investment. And this fixed investment is nothing but uh, when a firm buys machinery or capital or when a person buys a house, that's investment. So basically, when you look for both consumption and investment, it's people spending money to get something. The difference is for consumption, we're spending money to get something to use up immediately, or if not immediately, at least in the short run, we'll use it up within weeks or within months. But when we're talking about investment, we're spending money to get something, but the thing that we're getting is something that we will not use up within months. So when we buy a house, we plan to live in that house for years to come. So that's a fixed investment. When a factory buys a new machinery, they plan to use that machinery for years to come. So that's an example of investment. And we're going to call this I. Uh, let me just get rid of this. Okay. So number three, we have government spending. We're going to call this G. So you guys know what government spending is. I'm sure you've gone through this in Eco 102. Basically, government has revenue, 
which is taxation mostly. And then with this money, government has expenditure. That's government spending. And so we're not concerned with government revenue at this stage. We will come to that at a later time. Right now, we're concerned with everything. And for number four, we have export, which is X. We have import, which is M. And we all know what these things are. Export is when we sell goods or services. Uh, no, when we, yeah, when we sell goods and services to another country. So, for example, when Bangladesh sells garments, ready-made garments to the European Union, that's an example of export for Bangladesh. And import is when we buy something from another country. So, for example, when we're buying laptops from China, that's an example of uh, Bangladesh import. 